Acts 5 and 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him had the heavenly father exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Double honest to our, eld to our elder apostles and our elders at Great Millstone, a GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom we are, you know, hopefully edifying, you know, and hopefully this lesson will reach the elect to edify, you know. OK. Um, so what I'm reading is from the book of Acts, the fifth chapter. OK, because this thing is all about the elect. All right. And that elect is the elect of the nation of Israel. OK. First and foremost to the elect. All right. And then to all of Israel. OK, because two thirds of our people are going to be cut off. All right. And right now, the Heavenly Father is only looking for that elect number. OK, that's who this word is going out to. All right. They're the only ones that are going to get this word, receive it and hold it uh, fast. OK, so I'm reading from the book of Acts, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to read the 31st verse again. It says, him had the heavenly father exalted. Okay, the him is to whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, whose name is Yahawashai. He deliverer. Okay. He's the savior of who? To the ones that repent, that, that, that are going to repent. All right, to, that are going to be sorrowful. For the uh, the sins they commit, okay? So it says, Him had the Heavenly Father exalted, the Him is Yahweh Shai, all right? With his right hand to be a prince, and you see prince and, sa and the Savior. Savior is capitalized, okay? To be a prince and a Savior, all right? Because again, Yahweh Shah means he deliverer. All right. Who is he going to deliver? Okay. We'll get that. Okay. For to give repentance to Israel. Okay. This is the New Testament. And forgiveness of sins. What is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. Who is the law given to? The Israelites. All right. We'll get a scripture to prove that. This is. Hebrew Israelite 101. Okay, this is the basis, basics. Okay. Let's go to the book of Psalms 147. Let's see. This is the book of uh, Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, okay? Jacob is Esau's twin brother, okay? This story is about Jacob and Esau, okay? They the main characters in this thing, okay? Jacob received the birthright, all right? So he showed his word. Who is the he? The he is the heavenly father, Okay? He chose Jacob, okay? The scriptures say, and I will yet choose Israel. Real quick, let me get that. Real quick. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh had mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. Matter of fact, let me do this real quick. Salakia. Do that. Just in case. So there won't be any interruptions. Alright. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will have mercy on Jacob. Okay. Again, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Alright. 
He is the prince of the power or he prince power. Yasha Allah. Okay. Which is how you say Israel in the Hebrew. Okay. In the Paleo Hebrew. All right. It says for the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. Okay. And will yet choose Israel and set them. Who is the them? The Israelites in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay? So Israel is the chosen, man. Period, point blank. Okay? Let's go back. Psalms 147 and uh, 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Okay? The statutes are what we're supposed to live live up to, okay, or live by, rather. His law, statutes, and commandments. How do you sin? Well, you transgress those law, statutes, and commandments, okay? That's what sin is, okay? And that's in the New Testament. Sin is the transgression of the law, all right? So who was the law given to? He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You see? It's just, that's just what it is. Okay. Let's get another scripture. Let's go to the book. You know what? Let me go back to Acts. All right, I want to make another point. Acts 5 and 31. Him had the heavenly father exalted, the him again is Shai, the savior of Israel, with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the book of St. Matthew. And this is just a quick hit. Hebrew Israelite 101. All right, this is the basics, okay? This is the book of St. Matthew, the first chapter. It says 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai. Okay, because again, Yahawashai. Hawashai means deliver. Okay, deliverer. All right. So he deliverer. His name is an omen nomen, a name prediction. Okay. This is what he 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 was he he was crucified and his blood was shed. Okay. For us, for Israel. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'll get a scripture. Uh let me read this. The book of St. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring, and the she is Mary, his mother, okay, who had sex with Joseph, all right? There was no virgin birth, okay? That's a Roman Catholic dogma, okay? Joseph had sex with Mary. That's how the Lord was conceived. Okay. Period. Point blank. And there are many videos. You can just put in virgin birth and great millstone or GMS. And you should be a slew of lessons that come up proving that the Lord was conceived by his mother and father or his father and his mother. Uh, having sexual intercourse, man. Okay. Just as every other man. Okay. Say Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people. Who are his people? The Israelites. He was. A, he. He is from the tribe of Judah himself. Which is the head tribe. Matter of fact, we'll get a scripture on that. 
All right. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. OK. So who are his people? The Israelites. OK. Um, What did I just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Let's get this scripture. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm spelling something wrong. I know it's in the book of Hebrews. Let's do this. Let's just put Judah. Yeah, I knew that. Let's go to all the way down. I knew that was going to be long. I'm not sure if it's spring or sprung. Might be here for a second scrolling. All right. Try to go there as fast as I Because I can't think of the verse right off. I always get it confused. And that's all right. Okay, I went too far. Bear with me one second. Baba Kusha. Here we go. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. But this will get it. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's why it wouldn't come up. It's G U D A in here. All right. Yeah, got it now. All right. Um, to prove that the Lord came from one of the 12 tribes. Okay. So who would his people be? If I'm, if I'm, a, if, if the Lord came, you know, is a Judite from the tribe of Judah and he's coming to save his people well then common sense should tell you that that's who that's talking about so this is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14 for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood you see so, uh, so like you. Um, so again, the Lord came out of the tribe of Judah, man. Okay. Um, and he's coming back to save his people who are the Israelites. Okay. Um, trying to think. It was a point I wanted to make, but it, it slipped my mind when I was sitting there scrolling, looking for the, uh, for this scripture. Uh, it'll come back to me if, if the Lord will. Okay. But I think the point has been, uh, pretty much the point has been made. Okay. That this thing is for the Israelites, man. This truth. Is for the children of Israel and starting with the election. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's put in the word elect. See what we get. I bring this out. This is Isaiah 45 and 4. It says, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee. <laughs> Though thou hast not known me, I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me. Okay. 
Now let's go back. Now this scripture is showing that this is for Israel. Israel is the Lord's elect, but there's an election inside of the nation of Israel. Okay? As the scriptures say, the Israel of God. Okay? Matter of fact, let's put that in there. Oh boy. Let's see, that's the God of Israel that's going to come up. But I want to get spe specifically the Israel of God. See, God of Israel. Let's see. I know it's in the New Testament. I can't think of where it's at. So lock you so bad. Okay. Because that's talking about the elect. Let's get Galatians 6. Let me see something. I was just reading a little bit. I'll just get to the point. This is uh, Galatians 6 and 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy. And upon the Israel of God, which is that's the elect, okay? Um, let me see. I'm just checking. I just wanted to see. And you see, all through here it says the God of Israel, God of Israel, God of Israel. You see, over and over and over. Okay, that's. I mean, I, I could have put in God of Israel and look how many scriptures come up. The power of Israel. I mean, it's evident. Let me go back because I wanted to do elect also. Hey, yeah, let me put that in the very elect. All right, this is the book of St. Matthew 24 and 24. That for there shall arise false Christ. All right, I'm going to just read it verbatim. And false prophets. All right, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Well, why does this say this? If it were possible, because the, the point is that it's not possible. For the elect to get fooled because the elect are sealed. Okay? And they're gonna be saved. They they gonna hold this truth all the way either until their death or until they're beamed up. Okay? The elect is gonna hold this truth and and and, and um be saved. Okay? They're not gonna they're not gonna, you know, return into their vomit, as the scripture says. Okay, they're not going to return to the congregation of the dead. They're going to hold fast to this truth. All right. But let me put in a lick to get on to see real quick what it come up with. And then uh, let's go to the new. Uh, yeah, shit. Uh, go to the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's so many scriptures. Oh, man. Okay. And starting to rain, too. 
But that's all right. I don't mind getting a little wet. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 just seeing I'm just Mark 13 and 22 say the same thing, St. Matthew 24 and uh 24 say. So let's go here. Let's go to Luke 18 and 7. And shall not the heavenly father avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? You see? And who signed and crying for all the abominations, man? In the midst thereof. Okay? The elect. All right? Who are the ones that are praying unto the heavenly father? Because you have elect women and children also. Okay? And you have elect men that go out and preach okay and who so who is doing this who who's crying out to the heavenly father day and night the elect okay the elect of the nation of israel all right is uh romans 8 and 33 who shall lay anything to the charge of the heavenly father's elect is it it is the heavenly father that justified see that this is about the elect uh yep 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 i'm not gonna bring that one out uh, Romans 11 and 5 even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace yeah that remnant is the elect okay yep Romans 11 and 7 what then Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for because our people they're empty okay and they're seeking for that truth but only the elect is going to get the truth man Okay, so Romans 11 and 7, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Meaning they can't see this, they can't get this understanding, they can't see the truth. Okay, but the election will. Okay, um, Romans 11 and 28, as concerning the gospel. They are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Okay? Uh, Colossians 3 and 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Heavenly Father, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. That's, hey, that's, those are um, words that are described. The characteristics of the elect. Okay. The elect is going to be carrying themselves in a certain manner. Okay. Not as of the world. Okay. Yeah. Yep, 2 Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. You see? Just as we do, you know? We endure all things for the elect's sake. And Lord willing, you know, I'm one of those men, you know, the men that that is out there, you know, standing on some of my sides. And, you know, we all standing side by side preaching. You know, hopefully those men are too, you know? But we're doing what we're doing for who? The elect. For the elect to be edified. All right. Second Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahawashah, with eternal glory. Okay. Paul, uh, Salakia, Titus 1 and 1. Paul, a servant of the Heavenly Father and an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, 
according to the faith of the heavenly father's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness bam uh let me click on first peter let me see yep first peter one and one Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, all right, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. That scripture just came back to me, what I was thinking about earlier about the Lord uh, shed his blood for uh, Israel, that's Revelation 1 and 5, okay? It just came back to me when I read that, okay? By the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh, which is right here in 1 Peter uh, 1 and 2. Let's go back, all right? So, I mean, the point is pretty much made, man. Okay, Second Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. Uh, for if you do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay. And the elect, that's why it was, that's, it's called the elect. They're elected. Okay, just like when you elect a president, you're chosen. Okay. So we we do what we have to do, make our do do our diligence to make our calling and election sure. Hopefully we that we that's why we say the hopefully elect that we hopefully of the election. All right. So I mean, like I said, the point is pretty much uh Yep. Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. What's the name? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And not all the Israel that know they Israel is even doing that, man. But if they not, and they are the elect, they eventually will. Okay? Just like in some of these other camps, man. You know, they got elect in these other camps. They're going to eventually call on the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. I'm going to end it on this one. Because I was just going to do a quick hit, but the Spirit said something otherwise. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. Lord willing, this was edifying, and I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory again to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, and double honors again to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Hey, and it stopped raining too, man. Kahala, you have a shimmy, I was shy.